Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Furutech. All you know is that our channel offers one-stop solution for upgrading your Snapdragon device, older GPU drivers to the latest one. Few days before we uploaded the video for the latest driver version 757. But developer Trigit made available the newest driver version 762.40. These are the latest drivers dated 19 February 2024. I tried these drivers on my some devices including the POCO X2. Here you can check out both the OpenGL and Hulkans API drivers updated for my POCO X2. So today we will just not only show you how to choose the correct drivers and install them for your device, but also we shown how these drivers improved the POCO X2 3D Mark scores along with the OpenGL graphics driver's performance. At last I shown in which of my devices these drivers were work. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. This is my POCO X2 running with the Android 14 custom ROM Apollo OS. It has the Snapdragon 730 CPU with the Adreno 618 GPU. It's running with the oldest OpenGL GPU drivers version 3.2 at the rate 502. And the Hulkan graphics drive version is also old, it's 512.502. Now we will download the latest GPU drivers from the link given under the video description. In the link, given you will get the three different folders first folder is for the devices running with the adreno 650 and the older versions second is only for the adreno 660 while third one is for the adreno gpu version 725 and above versions so we will check out the a650 and the older version folder here you will get the drive version 762.90 download this driver zip and flash it via magic and reboot your device so it's done now if you check your device driver under the device info application, it's showing the OpenGL drive version is now updated to the version 3.2 at the rate 762.90 dated 19 February 2024. Similarly, Vulcan Crafts your application will show you the updated drive version as a 512.762.90. Now it's time to show you how drastically this new driver improves the numerical values for any performance testing application. Like I already did the Geekbench GPU performance testing here for just OpenGL testing, these drivers given me the score of 1255. While without drivers, I got the score of 1122. Almost 100 points are higher for the OpenGL graphics performance test with the newest driver as compared to the older drivers. Next, I did the most advanced graphics test called as the 3D Mark testing with the old and the new drivers. These are the most advanced graphics performance testing which gives the real potential of the GPU of your device with the numerical results. I already did the test with these old and the new drivers so let's check out them under my results section. With the old drivers for wildlife test stream text I got the score of 940 and 813 for the best and the low boot loop respectively. While with the newest driver these scores are 1290 and 1211. This is a huge 300 points difference. Next for the slingshot extreme on the Hulkan API with the old drivers I got the score of 2210 while the newest driver given the score of 2459. This one is also big difference of 200 points. For slingshot extreme on the OpenGL 3.1 old drivers has given the score of 2344 while newest driver gave the score of 2634. Wildlife on the Vulcan API, I got the score of 1001 while with the new driver, I got the score of 1288. So the new driver is given very good score and indirectly their performance is reflected in the graphics intensive games or the UI performance of the device. You will find the gaming and the graphics UI will be better than before with these new drivers, you will face less graphical glitches after upgrading your drivers. If you ask me on which devices these drivers will work, I personally tested these drivers on the POCO X2, Nothing Phone 1 and OnePlus 9RT. In these devices, these drivers are working without any issue. But for my OnePlus 6, these drivers are not working. 
but these drivers will work on any Snapdragon devices below 650 and above 725 and for the 660. Just you have to choose the appropriate drivers as per your device GP model from the links given. Still, if you face any issues, then please follow the video tutorial link given under the video description, which will help to solve any kind of boot loop due to the drivers and as specific bugs happen due to the new drivers. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of such amazing mods. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.